As we continue this addition series, let's take a look at another addition method using place value mats. If you're not familiar with place value, please take a look at my place value session, which goes into more details. Just as a quick overview, place value refers to a digit's value based on its position. So for example, if I'm going to write the number 752. In the number 752, the 7 is not just a 7, it's actually 7 hundredths. This is the hundredths position for this number. It's not 7 ones, because in this number, the ones position is actually taken by the number 2. So what place value does is, it gives you the math context of the number that you're looking at. So for example, 752, if we were to break it apart, it's really 7 times 100, 5 times 10, and 2 times 1, when added together, will give us 752. So how does this relate with place value maths? What place value mats in Singapore math do is they help you decompose and break the number and break numbers into their plate into their pace their place value pieces, which you can then use to add, subtract, multiply, or divide. Another way of looking at this is that the mat gives you a concrete understanding of what the numbers are. So what is a place value mat? Well, this is what they generally look like, what we have here. It usually starts with a three column chart or a table, and you have hundreds column, tens columns, and the ones column. Now, depending on the types of numbers that you're using, you can, of course, add additional columns. For example, if you were um, using numbers that started with the thousands, you'd have an additional column for thousands. But generally, for what we're going to be doing, I'm going to be mainly using hundreds, tens, and ones. And of course, this is something you can also just create on your own um, if you want to do like a paper and pen. So how would this work with equations? Okay, so I'm just going to remove the 752. And we're going to take a look at, we're going to start with a simple equation. Let's say we wanted to add 2 plus 5. So let me just write 2 2 plus 5. Okay. 2 plus 5. Because these are single digits, what we're really adding are 1's. This is really 2 1's and this is really 5 1's. So in terms of the place value chart, this is the column that we're going to be starting off in, the 1's column. So for um, the purposes of this video, what I'm going to use to represent the ones and the tens, I'm going to be using um, place value disks. And what place value disks are, they're just visual representat representations to help you see what you're working on in terms of the place value. So for this video, I'm going to use red disks to represent ones and black disks to represent tens. If you're doing this at home on pen and paper, you can use just circles if you want, and you can have a circle, and you can put the numbers 1 in there if you want to, to actually see it, or just draw the circles within the 1s, or draw the circles within the 10s. And again, this is just to help you visually see how this is being broken apart. So let's, so let's take a look at the first part of this equation, the 2. So what are the 2? The 2 is actually two ones. So I'm going to move, I'm going to move two disks into the one column. So this represents my two. The next part of the equation is five. So this is really five ones. So I'm going to move five disks into the ones chart. So now I have 2 plus 5. 
and it's in the ones column. So I know whatever my answer is, there's going to be a ones in it. So after you add this up, two and five, it gives you seven. And it's seven ones. So two plus five is equal to seven. So that's how you would use this chart for a simple equation. Two plus five equals seven. And again, this is ones, two ones, five ones gives me seven ones. So now how would this work in those instances where you have a double digit equation? Okay, so we're gonna take a look at a double digit equation. Just gonna move these disks over so we can start our new problem. So we're gonna take a look at adding together the equation 24 plus 35. Okay. So I'm going to write in so we can see it up here 24 plus 35. So similar to what we did with the single digit equation, we're going to do the same thing with the double digit. We're going to break it apart. So over here we start with 24. Well, what's 24? 24 is actually two tens and four ones. So let's move our disks. So we have two tens, two, one, two, this is our 20, and four ones. 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is the place value representation of 24. Two tens, four ones. Well, now let's look at the second part, 35. Well, what's 35? 35 is actually three tens and five ones. So we go three tens, one, two, three and five ones. One, two, three, four, five. So this is 35, three tens and five ones. So now let's add these together. So we start with the ones column. So we have four ones and five ones. Four ones and five ones gives us nine ones. Now let's take a look at our tens column. What do we have here? Well, we have two tens and three tens. Two tens and three tens gives us five tens or 50. So this is actually 59. So 24 plus 35 is equal to 50 nine, five tens and nine ones. Okay. And again, you can see it on the chart, five tens and nine ones. Now you'll notice that this, this session is called place value addition, no regrouping. And that's because we didn't have to trade a group of smaller value disks, i.e. let's say the ones column for tens. If you take a look at our example, in the ones column, our result was nine, nine ones. If it was 10 or higher, we would have to account for the fact that we're moving from ones into tens. And that, that is called regrouping. The next video in this series will discuss how you handle those types of situations where what you're adding is greater than the place value amount that your that your number is currently in. Okay. So now let's take a look at one more problem just so you can see it again at work. But as you can see, this is really nice because it, it allows you to visually see what 
is actually going on when you're doing these additions or if you're doing a subtraction or if you're doing a multiplication instead of just actually just type writing down the number and then just from from memory figuring out the problem this will at least help you see how the numbers are actually working in the background okay so now let's take a look at adding the number the two two digits again 44 plus 32 Now, if we look at 44, this is um, kind of funny because you see you have a 4 and you have another 4. What, differenti what differentiates those 4s are where the digits sit. So the first 4 in our problem over here, this sits in the tens column. So this is why it's a 40. This 4 sits in the ones column, and that's why it's just a 4. That's what gives us the 44. So if we wanted to add this, we'll look at the first one, 44. Well, what's 44? Well, 44 is actually four tens. Two, three, four, and four ones. One, two, three, four. So this is the place value representation of 44, 44. Now let's look at 32. Well, what's 32? 32 is actually three tens and two ones. So here we go. Three tens, one, two, three, and two ones. One, two. So this is our 32. And just like we did with the previous equation, now we can do the additions. So we look at our ones column. Well, we have four ones and two ones, which gives us six. And we look at our tens, we have four tens and three tens, which gives us seven tens or 70. So this is seven tens, 70, and six ones, six, 76. So 44 plus 32 equals 76. As you can see, with Singapore Math, using place value mats and disks to help you break apart the numbers into their place values, it gives you a better understanding of what the numbers actually represent and how the numbers are interacting with each other. In our next video, we'll take a look at place value addition this time with regrouping and how do you handle that type of situation. Thank you very much.